The impact of the coronavirus pandemic is not only being felt by those left unemployed by the crisis, but by the state and local governments that rely on tax revenue those workers generate. Yeah, as Congress prepares to take up the fourth phase of a stimulus plan, the call is going out from Republicans and Democrats that it must include a lifeline to state and local governments. News 5's John Kosick joins us live, and John, that is especially true right here in Ohio. Yeah, you would think that how local governments are funded would be pretty boilerplate, standard across the board. Far from it. As a result, you've got states like Ohio that have greater exposure in this than others. Local governments are funded by taxes and fees, property taxes on average being the biggest one. Some, however, differ, relying more heavily on sales taxes to keep the municipal lights on, and an even smaller percent nationwide rely on income taxes to do it. This piece of the pie, that would be Ohio. I'm told that 90% of the cities around the country cannot use income taxes, but Ohio can, and they do. Not only use, but heavily rely on them. When people aren't working, they're not generating income, and in turn, income taxes. Consider this. Cleveland gets 66% of its general revenue from income taxes. Toledo, close to the same, and Columbus, even more so, at 76%. That's why they rank number one in a recent study by the Brookings Institute looking at cities most likely to feel quicker the financial impacts of this crisis. In fact, four of the top five cities on the list are from Ohio. What I'm hearing from our local governments all around the state, and this includes municipalities as well as counties, as well as townships, they're having real trouble being able to fund their basic responsibilities, the most basic of all being public safety. Acro Mayor Dan Horrigan says they're looking at a 20 to 35 percent drop in revenues this year alone. In the economic collapse of 2009, Akron reduced staffing levels by 60 percent, some of which was added back, but not much. That's why he and local leaders across the country, along with Senators Portman and Brown, are calling on Washington to include in Phase 4 of the CARES Act money to help keep local governments afloat. I am very confident we will get significant dollars into Ohio in Phase 4. These communities are all... Um, we've all been devastated by, by the drop in, in tax collections. And as you say, John, Ohio gets it worse because we have been more reliant on income and sales tax um, than many other states, cities, and counties have. And Senator Brown telling me that Senator Schumer told him that Senator Mitch McConnell promised that that funding would be in a phase four. President Trump also tweeting his support for such aid. And John, Shaker, do John we know Kasich, how, News 5. Well, before we let you go, do we know how much we're talking about, John? Uh, $500 billion is the number that's being tossed around. But, but here's the thing. Senator Portman was telling me yesterday that there are not a lot of legislators in Washington. So as a result, they're spread out across the country. There's no real debate going on. They're not holding hearings. So, and, and there's no remote voting. So as a result, they really don't have as much input on what these final bills end up looking like.